All right, welcome back, everybody, to some more Banishers. Uh, picking up and heading to, I think, the cemetery where we're supposed to go next to find out what, what happened. What you do for my Charles? I was going to go find out. I'm going to banish his ass. If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Oh. Must I see him, too? No. First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. All right. Like I was saying, we're looking to our friend Charles, who passed. We I'll just arrived right. in New Eden. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. Oh, it's the crows. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Are we switching characters? Be careful. Aye. You too. No, we're not switching characters. Do you find the location on your map? What's this? Oh, a shop. We have money. I found money. How do you... Can you zoom? Well, we can zoom. I guess we go, like, that way. So, it says you're supposed to be able to play both characters, but I'm assuming that's later on. Oh, another villager! It'd be one of the banishers then? Come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your name, I have forgotten it. Antea Duarte. You may happen upon my companion, Red McGraith, about the place. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? Uh... Huh. Governor Haskell told us of the curse. I'd like to understand what it is and from where it came. While I'll not speak ill of my neighbors, someone must have let the evil in. Someone always does. I understand banishers often trade with the forces of evil. We do not trade. We deliver. A haunting may be caused by the errors of the living, but a ghost gets no mercy. Ah, yeah. Charles, Bad dreams? Minister Davenport, said many here had unpleasant dreams. He suspected they were part of the curse. You are a curious character indeed, mistress. My dreams, good or bad or otherwise, are my own business, and so they shall remain. Bitch! What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. Mm. We have a small farm some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. Uh, yeah. Did you know Charles Davenport? Of course I knew the minister. My sister and I attended all his services, and grateful we were too. He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor widow. She must be bereft. Uh, thanks for nothing? You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. You didn't tell me nothing. Oh, are we... I must take a moment by myself. Yeah, I am going to talk Excuse to you anyways. Me. This is, oh, is this not... Anything? Anything? Oh! Okay. I was excited for two seconds for it to tell me there's no food. The music is eerie as hell, dude. Warning, the docks are closed for 
sabotage by fire all trade to Boston Marblehead Salem etc is cut until we until the saboteur is caught there's a saboteur more rats This fire can't have started on its own. Not in this cold. What fire? Can we get in there? No. Some more leather. I always need more leather. Um. We'll go this way. Oh, there's a person. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte. Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. His death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling Squire. merchant. Stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Um. Oh, yeah. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. Just curious. My purse. You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive by sea? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rowed ourselves ashore. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry specters and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Ha! The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it, unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. <laughs> I won't even charge you for it. Hey, and ask about the curse yet. Tell me about the curse, if you will. Well, I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and I fear foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. Uh, trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. I need what information. I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death, weather too. So much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. 
folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. You didn't tell me anything. Fine. Oh, I got more money. Ooh, what's down there? What we got? 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 Hoof fungus, that's always good. 39 pieces of eight and some leather. Anything else? This is a good find. Ah. Cemetery. More rats. A wisp. So close to town. The is closed for order of the governor. Well, um, fuck him. I'm gonna do what I want. Where are you leading me? What happened? No one is safe here. Die, fucker. Jesus. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Winter green plus chi. Need to learn how to make more heals. Oh, we got some more fungus. What is that? I right. I'm gonna use that for fire. Uh, as a banisher, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When, it's, when in close proximity to these elements, your bane rings will be triggered. I'll end up with an orange aura. Walk around to find the source. Okay, you can go away now. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Many dead in more recent years. It's more hoof fungus. Ah! Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you.
I was glowing this way, so let's go this way. There's that wisp again. What we got here? A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Memories of the dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary resources. So I got the pyrite. I just need seashore candles. If I mix the stones I found earlier with seashore candle, that might do it. Where the hell did I find that? And some more pyrite. Uh oh. What's that about? Some more hoof fungus. Hey, all the pirate you need could never want. this way Aha uh -huh. Found you bitch Vanish ya! Enough. Ooh. Lots of leather. Let's go perform our little ritual. What good old Charles has to say. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. I think that's where I was. can perform blah, blah blah next to reveal the memories you need to perform a hearkening ritual so we got the hearkening make manifest and summon scourge Ooh. so this ritual helps you want to tune into a fading but persistent memory Left by a lingering ghost through the compelling words, carvings, or drawings of the Leo constellation. Okay. Uh, force a ghost to or specter to appear using an, or knowing the tie that binds a ghost to the inc incarnate is generally necessary. Such a ritual may be channeled through compelling words or carvings or drawing of the Taurus constellation. And it's the same through the compelling words of carving a drawing or of the Aguila constellation, which will force all types of scourges, harvester, raid, sword, or such to reveal themselves. All right, but this is the one we want to do. In each stain hides a story.
What do you got for me, homie? In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place. You do not command me, clergyman. Oh. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself. Well, since you ask so politely. Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared. Ooh. Be gone. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. <gasps> Charles. Oh, this book. Give me the book. Damn it. Charles' Bible found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. It's open at Job 7 13 through 15. Or you read it out. This ties. This tie is doused with the essence of Charles's ghost. As a closer, as a clo uh, if there a closure before my antenna, the bond between the ghosts and the world will be severed for good. That, the tie that binds his ghost. Well, uh, threatening new Eden. Charles Devort heart gave out. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Wait, do we look up here all the way? Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? Back to thine grave. Okay. Old Bible. Make, yeah, manifest. That's what we wanted, right? Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. What? We're not going to fight, are we? Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. There he is. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And I am here at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Uh, yeah, why not wait? Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. 
many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Hmm. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Dantea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. Hmm. I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is the rarest of ghosts. A powerful, insidious spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's huh. a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They... vanished. <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them. Which is not like So it's stolen. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something. Something important. Where's where's Red? We'll banish it. Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Your death pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. Uh... How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. Uh... Yeah, what did it look like? What did it look like? I... Don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No, I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. 
Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your... Antea, wait! Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Banish him. Tia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Why is she banished him like that in the first place? Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. Let's take you home, little lady. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. The center is closed. Who's Nothing lighting these ever be the matter. torches? You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. Yeah, that's right. Nothing like a late jog. You step in shit? That sounds squishy as hell. The back of your house goes to the cemetery? You son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Good night, my dear. Okay. It's... Um, pretty sure I looked at that. Let's go find red. So we can go night night. Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? 
Duarte? Duarte, you came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. <laughs> right. So you're the face of hope, are you? You what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was last time I looked. Yeah, he seems like a real nice person. What can you tell me about the curse? Did Haskell not lay it out? We freeze, and at the same time, we rot. Minister Davenport said he'd summoned the best banisher there is. Can you lift the curse? In my experience, most curses are actually hauntings. And while ghosts are treacherous, they're not invincible. Well, I'd like to tell you I find that a comfort. But I'm afraid I would be lying. It may seem like an odd question, but may I ask if the curse has brought you bad dreams? Every time I close my eyes, I'm in this door. Coins fall from the ceiling. Only a few at first. When they hit the floor, they break. Like rotten teeth. Or finger bones, perhaps. What? The trickle becomes rain. A cascade smashing down to flood the store. I try to flee, but the flood rises too fast. I drown in shards of broken bone. There. Aren't you glad you asked? Kind of. What can you tell me about the town meeting house? The minister closed it down. Said it was dangerous. Imagine. Worship is dangerous now. Do you remember when and why? The when is difficult to say. I admit I've lost track of time with the dullness of the days. Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? That's about all we have left. Maybe I do want we'll a linen dress. To learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life, and Bitch. we have next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. And that makes me a fool. Goodbye. A very good day to you, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? I don't like her either. Which way? Here are you. Good day, sir. You'll be one of Haskell's banishes, I take it. Ante Duarte. You may meet Red McWraith about the place. Pew Bachelor. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse for your comfort. It has fallen out of use. Will that be all? Uh, yeah. I need information. What can you tell me about the curse? New Eden is scrutinized by God. Better days lie ahead if his servants remain humble and true. Do I detect a note of disapproval, Mr. Bachelor? I was hoping for a warmer welcome. Oh, I don't doubt your honesty, nor your will to fight the devil. But we have prayed for salvation. And, madam, without wishing to offend, you are no angel. How do you know? Do you have bad dreams, Mr. Bachelor? You don't want to hear about those. Yes, I do. Try me. In my sleep. Chanting demons defile our precious meeting house and burn it to the ground. Two poor souls are trapped inside. A man and a woman, screaming oaths and curses in strange tongues. I wake with a start and rush to the window. I am relieved to see the meeting house still standing. Hmm. Did you know the Reverend Davenport thought the meeting house haunted? I did know that. To his shame, the late minister ended services and closed the meeting house. No wonder we are where we are. And what do you think sits in the meeting house? Miss, if the devil sits in our meeting house, it means that we, the people of New Eden, have failed 
to repudiate his works. Obviously. Obviously. Where are the children? Several died of fever. We could see disaster coming. We thought we'd have to bury them all. We sent the children to safety. We sent them away. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. No, it is not. Thanks, Farewell, I guess. Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. I shall not wish you luck. I shall wish you salvation. What does that mean? What's this? To town is filled with sinners to hell with evil worshippers who do the devil's work. We should have sent them all away. God watches us here as we live willingly with the treacherous liars. These chanting demons will not get the likes of me, but they might corrupt the weak-minded. May fervor and prayer bless our souls in these times of trial. Puritans and their sermons. Interesting. Uh, the part of the town is closed by the governor's decree. Why? I'll go where I want to go. Husband! New eating this town. Oh, no, the house isn't. Give me that, of course. Leather? Yeah, I knew it. Knew it! And. Ooh. Uh, da 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 da. Not reading all that. Not reading all that. That's too muchy. Hey, got some bread. Nice. did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. Aww. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. Uh, the treasure bring closure. The dead have no business with the living. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to. You'll not escape me so easy. You, I would bring back from the dead. That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you wouldn't. Eh? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. You are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a... What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. Well, looks we'll like we got our work cut out. 
Now to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Don't you guys just wake up? You could spoon her. Poor Esther. We're gonna have a nightmare. Yep. It looked like Esther. And Taya, she took her fire bane. She says I'm the reckless one. All right. I think we'll end this one here. We moved up. We found out about Charles and what happened, kind of, with him, and maybe our new new villain is a nightmare ghost. So, what do we do? Do we banish, or do we ascend them? I think we banish the ghost. I don't know. We'll see what happens when we have to actually decide the the difference between. As always, uh, until next time, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll check you later. Peace.